Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is my monthly installment in the Pinspiration collaboration. And what this collab is, um, it's to get us to use um, like tutorials and projects that we have saved all over our Pinterest boards and to actually start using them more instead of just letting them collect up and to be like have a whole bunch of things saved actually make them um this is something i ran across um it's called the easiest gift card ever and sorry about the shadow there we go a little bit better um it's called or it's by four wise guys scrapping the adventures of the wise family and um makes this fun little gift card. Now there is one correction that I had to make um, when you're making a um, the little inside triangle there. Okay, this lighting is horrible. The inside triangle that holds the gift card in, um, the little matte piece, they're one telling you to cut the little like pattern paper two and a half, two and a quarter by three and a quarter. But when I cut my pieces that size, they came out like not wanting to um lay correctly they were all wonky like they'd start out down here and go way down here they were not wanting to um, lay there correctly they were not the right size so when i recut them at two and a half by three and a quarter then they did much better so i will show in just a second here um, these were made with the paper pad that i finished up using um, all of it all the papers are gone now for the collab um, Deb Hauk is hosting on the Smash That Small Paper Pad. There's a birthday pad I was using. Um, this is the front of this one. Just took some of the pattern paper and backed it with white and put them on some red cardstock. And then open it up. This is here. This white piece here is just to write your little message or whatever. And... Um, and if I can find the card here, yeah, just write your message to, from, whatever. And this piece here, when I cut it to the size that it said, it started out like, um, let's see if I can do this one-handed because I'm trying to hold my tablet right now. It started out just fine, but then as it got higher, it started sloping down. So you were left with a huge gap between the pattern paper and the edge of the cardstock so it was really uneven and I could not stand the way that looked it was really really crooked so when I cut it a quarter of an inch taller then that was just fine it worked and it fit really nicely in the space with a nice little even border around it and then here's just a, one of those cards to get in the mail wanting you to get a credit card they work perfect for things like this and this is where you just tuck in your card and then it just closes and you have a nice little gift to give somebody so i thought that was really easy and it really did go together super easy and then here is this one and i just used the coordinating cardstock on the inside as to what i used on the outside and then here is this paper that i absolutely love love that print and there's that piece and if um, anyone that watched my Smash That Small Paper Pad um, video on the 25th, um, I did show some ATCs that I put together using the triangles that were cut out in correctly that didn't fit. And so they did not go to waste. Thank goodness I didn't trash them or anything. They went perfectly on the ATCs that I made. So you'll see that in that video. These are the three gift cards holders that I made super easy um after like i said making that one little correction um so i will leave the link in the description below for this um tutorial and everyone else who's participating in this collab their links will be down there as well so you can go check out what pens inspired them and maybe you'll get inspired yourself to try something I uh, hope everyone has a great Saturday. Um, take care, and I'll talk to you all the next time. Goodbye.